Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to take certain 3D layers and put them into a new composition so you can just affect those with certain uh, effects that you want to put on. So what I mean is I want to take this gear that's here and I want to take this CSTV and put them in a new composition so I can put an effect on them. That way it's not going to affect my background layer at all. Or if you have other 3D objects in here and you put a try to put like an adjustment layer or something like that on there, it's not going to affect those either. And you can do it all at once. Instead of putting like effects on each layer, which can get tedious if you have a lot. So I'm gonna come to um, down to here to my layers panel and I'm gonna select each of these together. I'm gonna come up to the layer uh, up here on the on the layer drop down menu and come to precompose and just name it whatever new boss whatever you want to name it doesn't matter just make sure it's relevant to what you're working on so everybody knows what's going on now as you can see the lights don't even affect this anymore and it looks weird all the material properties on it are gone the way to fix that is to come down to this uh, column here and collapse the transformations and now we've got all of our stuff back we can now throw an effect on there like I'm gonna throw on curves and you can see now that the layer affects both but does not affect or the effect affects both of these layers but does not affect my background layer at all go like that and I'll just throw something funky on there I know it doesn't look awesome but it's on there so that's how you organize things a little bit better so that you can add effects to certain 3d layers and have all the properties still show up now I'm just gonna turn this effect off real quick and I want to remind you that you don't have to click on this 3d key button to make it 3d at all because it already is the layers if I double click on this are already in 3d within this layer or within this uh, pre comp so when I click on 3d it really doesn't do anything now I it messes with the effect though so if I try to turn this curves back on by clicking on this effect button it, now it's now it's all screwed up if I take it off and now I can use the effect so make sure you don't have your 3d cube on and um, that's just a helpful tip in case you can't figure out why your effects aren't working because it it just happened to me when I was making the tutorial earlier and it caused me to be mad at my computer and I couldn't figure it out for a second and then I saw that I had stupidly checked that by accident thinking that I needed to but and I didn't so you live and you learn hopefully you guys uh, can understand how this works and see its uses and I uh, thank you for watching and I want to see you guys at, at the next tutorial because it's been great making these tutorials for you guys Thank you guys. Have a good one. See you later.